Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you just watched the first segment. Here's number two. So just hit up the corrective. Now we're going to look at the performance pieces to build more speed, power, overall better stability, better body to help you out here. Um, like always, if you haven't already, go on, get a nice little warm up going so we're not doing any of this cold. And we're going to break down some key components here to help you improve. What can we do for power without hitting up some legs? Uh, I'm going to show you two different variations. They're not a lot of fun as I, I mean, man, I don't like any, um, any lower body. It's just not a lot of fun for me to train, but we're going to be doing it unilateral. That way we have to work that body independently. We're not sitting here sagging on side, but we're bracing. Uh, we're going to start with a very simple lunge, but we're going to focus on pushing off and really driving back. Okay. So you see that you get set and then I really want you to have to push and drive and almost push yourself backwards. And this is great because again, I'm having to brace and lock and I'm having to really learn how to create that force and get back there. I just have a 20 pound weight, do what you can do. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be heavy. You can start off with no weight if you want. Um, but again, great for stability, great for the unilateral. We're still seeing that power. Now, the second leg that we can do is more of the advanced, like always. I try to keep you on your toes and give you the next piece looking forward. Uh, I've got a whopping three pound weight here. <laughs> again, do whatever you can do, but I want to go from this position and then I'm going to jump straight up and land. Purpose of the weight is so that I really have to engage that middle body, our core, and I have to stabilize it while I'm jumping. We know what the jumping's for. Um, and that is a, <laughs> it's a great exercise, but I'm telling you, it's, it's tough. Um, you're not gonna be jumping high off the ground. Try to work on that explosiveness, okay? So it's not gonna be just exactly how fast I can go through the reps, but once I get here, I mean, really engage, give it your all, do eight, no more. Take a break if you want to do three sets, have at it. Two great leg exercises to really hit that lower body. That way we can build that speed. All right, our next piece. Um, I don't even know how many times I've shown you this. So if you're not doing it, I, I don't know how to help, okay? We're gonna do a one arm snatch, all right? Again, one arm unilateral. We're gonna be taking it from here, we're down. It's just hanging straight down. I'm going to come up nice and quick. I'm trying to really drive with my lower body. It'll make me engage with my core. If I've done it right, this basically becomes weightless to where it floats. And then once it's up over my shoulder, I get up and under it. And if I've thrown it hard enough, I don't have to press. All right. So I'm here, up and over. Okay. You should be able to do probably quite a bit of weight as you get better with these. Don't start off heavy. In fact, if you need to, go watch my entire series on how to do this properly because it's very important with posture that we watch the back um, and a lot of other areas, especially in the shoulder, knees, um, what have you. So this is great. It's also gonna be really good to get that heart rate up. Once you finish with one side, you obviously have the next. Now, if you're in front of a mirror, watch. And as you're going, try to keep it nice and straight but don't lean side to side. Make sure you've got it set, you're down, exploding, and going through. Fantastic exercise to get the whole body involved, working together to help create that speed that we're looking for. All right, this is a nice little variation with a twist, um, sort of mixing in a couple. So we're gonna do a push press in a sense, as well as give it a nice little turn. So it's sort of like our discus throw that I love. But we're basically going to go from here. I want you to go down so that you're loading and back up and extend with the hand, okay? So I'm down, I'm up. You can go across your body a little bit. This is really good because we're getting in that squat aspect. We're getting in a nice loaded twist and turn that I'm having to brace, fire, rotate, plus we're hitting the shoulders. And just like with that one arm snatch, I'm having to put it all together so the body's working in unison to create that speed and power. Again, I mean, if you want to swing fast, you have to train fast. 
Um, that doesn't necessarily mean just doing things quickly. There are other components involved. Getting that body to activate properly. This is one of them that will definitely help you out. Last but certainly not least, one arm kettlebell swing to help out with that lower back. The big key here is not to twist. I've got a nice little bend in the knees, bend from the waist, back straight, and really using those hips, squeezing the butt, going through, and swinging that up, okay? It's not earth shattering, it's very straightforward. Don't make it more difficult than it needs to be. Switch arms, do the same thing. Again, really engage in that core. We don't wanna see you starting from here. We wanna keep it braced, down and up. You'll feel some in through the hamstrings, you'll feel it in the glutes. You'll probably feel it in the back a little bit the next day. Hammer through it. There's some great exercises now that we've improved the body to build up that speed and power. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check back, leave your comments below. Love to hear what you think. I'm always trying to come up with new ideas um, that you all wanna see, not necessarily what I wanna see or do, but some things gonna be helpful for you. So please, again, subscribe, go on and leave me some feedback. Thanks guys.